I know I put it, here we go. I knew I had it in here. So that was based about the book of the gentle art of Swedish death cleaning. All right. I don't know why this is waking out. By Margarita Magnuson. It was a really interesting book, just a fun, easy read. This one was a little bit heavier, Fairy Tale Interrupted by Rosemary Terenzio, who was JFK Jr.'s executive assistant. During the time of George Magazine. Some of you will remember that. Some of you have no clue, but that's okay. So you can click on fairytaleinterrupted.com It'll take you to her homepage. And we move on. So there are recipes in the one book that I mentioned previously by Miss Magnuson. And there's sort of a cheesecake recipe, but not cheesecake like we think of it. So it can be slightly bitter, but it also can be sweet. Sorry, I'll start over. Cheesecake. So if you aren't familiar with how to make buttermilk, you can easily find that on YouTube. There's a gentleman. And he is called Preppy Kitchen. And he can show you how to make buttermilk. In case I went too fast. And then there's a rose hip marmalade. Again, it's in the book. Easily doable. You can buy rose hip online. They are berries. It was the month of the Kentucky Derby, ironically enough, because that's what never happens in September. So, hooray! Hopefully some of you got to drink a mint julep and enjoy the Twin Peaks. So, yeah, the Derby was second. Then the Belmont came first, and now the Preakness, which... Preakness is usually last. Don't quote me. It's been ages. So if you haven't had a mint julep before, pretty tasty. All right. We move on to eulogy. This is a copyrighted article, so you can't copy the article and claim it as your own. It is her intellectual property. So again, you can use the information. You can't copy the information and call it your own. So it is very helpful. I highly recommend reading through twice.
try to brace this again. Hope it doesn't wig out like it did. So her advice is to think of a theme. Don't let a theme plague you. Write 12 things that you know about the deceased. Look at those 12 things. Or is that going to help the audience? And what she means on five minutes is you can talk for five minutes about this or you can shorten it. So then you want to move them from sorrow to gladness because that might be where they're at. They need some gladness. So something wonderful the person cared about but was not able to complete. Maybe just something that the person was known for. Talk about the joys. The author of this was Evelyn Rainey. She is a retired educator and she has a website which I'll click link to shortly. All right. Her website is shelteringtree.earth. Yes, you are seeing that, shelteringtree.earth. She also does crochet, so you can learn a lot from her on crochet if that's of interest to you. So it's, it's quite interesting. All right, so again, really good information about writing a eulogy as at some point in your life you may be called upon to do so. Again, this is Evelyn Rainey's intellectual property so you cannot copy this article and call it your own. It is hers. But you are welcome to utilize the information she has shared with us through the emotional transformation of a eulogy. I'm going to scroll back through here just slowly. So you can see, I recommend rewind, push a button. This is on the YouTube channel. That's why I find it important to show you the YouTube channel. So you will find that link. Again, you will also find that link on our website, www.celebrationsoflifemagazine.com. Got a short article about funeral checklist, casket or cremation, 
notify the family, gather information. That death certificate is super important. So I highly recommend you get your hands on the information that you need for that death certificate. Funeral or no funeral, location, type of service you want, the efficient, anyone special, just family. If you have a casket, you need some pallbearers. I didn't say that right, but you know what I said. What you're going to wear. You may have a three day situation going on, you may have two. Highly recommend you figure it out. Now, also, if it's a casket, it's open casket, and you do embalm, you know, what are you going to wear in that casket? You know, you don't want them to put you in a color you don't look good in, no matter what state of mind you're in or person. Flowers, the big trend is going just greenery. But you could have a special flower that your peers don't know about. Like if you really like sunflowers. But heaven forbid it's the dead of winter. No stress. I'm sure the florists can wrangle up a few sunflowers. That's what they're good at. But I highly recommend you stay in your budget. Because budgets are crucial no matter what you're planning for. Okay? I know this had some extra pages because there's a lot to cover. I had a lot of special guests. I received this author. I'm going to scroll down. Mary Rodden. So that's Mary Rodman. You can email her. Or you can go to her site. This link should be working. There it is. Alright. Her sign is her name. MaryRodman.com She is a Christian author and speaker. And she blessed us with this article. Oh, look at that. She won an award. How cool. Oh, and there she is. Ta-da! Alright, we're gonna... Try to make my screen quit bulging on you there. Alright, we start at the top. Something out of nothing. Like many of you, there was a time in my life when I experienced a season of grief. In a period of about five years, I lost four family members. Following the loss of my brother-in-law and sister-in-law, life was different. But it seemed to move forward. Dad and Mom always taught us to pull ourselves together, up by the bootstraps, when difficulties arise. And so I did. When the third devastating loss hit our family, these bootstraps no longer worked for me. The loss of my sister, Linda, sent me into a session of grief. A pain which I was not accustomed to. I did not know how to handle. I was 13 years younger than Linda, so my childhood memories of her are few and far between. I always joked and said, I left for kindergarten and you left for college. However, as adults, we enjoyed heart-to-heart -heart sister talks on a variety of subjects. In the final months of her life, we spent a great deal of time together because I provided transportation to many of her doctor's appointments. Our sister bond was growing closer each week, and then the Lord called her home. The holidays were quickly approaching and I was dreading it. How could we possibly gather for a family Christmas and pretend that everything was normal? You see, Linda was the life of the party and her boisterous voice and contagious laugh. <clears throat> you could be two rooms away and hear her tell a story and cackle. I could countless I had countless talks with God, begging him to remove my pain and replace it with wonderful memories of my sister. The moment I realized I could not overcome my broken heart alone, life began to change for me. God took my nothing, the worthless pain of grief, and turned it into something. A joyful memories of Linda. <clears throat> grief is a difficult time in our lives, and we all deal with it differently. 
for me, I began to make Christmas ornaments out of Linda's old handkerchiefs. The moment I made something, Christmas ornaments, out of nothing, Linda's old handkerchiefs, joy began to fill my heart. God brought healing into my life through those ornaments whenever I gave one away. I shared a fond memory about her and said this was one of Linda's handkerchiefs. Walking through the loss of my sister impacted me greatly. I'm not saying the worthless pain of grief is grief is nothing because it is a true pain, an ache in your heart which sometimes seems unbearable. What I am saying is that grief does nothing to help you move on with your life. You need to take the next step by changing your daily or weekly routine. God did a great healing in my life <clears throat> that Christmas. <clears throat> Mom passed away less than two years later, and the grief process was much easier for me this time. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> I understood that I was not walking the path of grief alone. Christ was with me every step of the way. We read numerous stories of Jesus healing the lame and the blind. Those same wonderful stories of healing can be applied to our broken hearts. So again, you're welcome to visit her site. Check her out. Again, that's maryrodman.com. She does continue the article. I will post it here. It's a lovely long article. Here they are. So this is Urns by Dances with Woods. Again, off of the Etsy shop. <clears throat> they will be up for the month of October as well. And then that's the last month. So you better hurry up and get your urns. They're very well made. Alright, good grief. <laughs> No, I'm not just saying that. That's the title of this page. Good grief. Edgar Allan Poe. Yep. He's that dark guy. He's that mysterious guy. He's that unique creature that wrote a lot of unique books. Has a quote in The Assignation. To die laughing must be the most glorious of all glorious deaths. And again, that's in The Assignation by Edgar Allan Poe. I move forward <clears throat> as veterans have suffered quite a bit. And in regards to suicide, we want them to know they are not alone. Suicide Prevention lifeline.org slash help dash yourself veterans so also a good place for your veteran is on the suicide prevention lifeline Dot org website. So I did find a video about death cleaning by a lady who has a site on YouTube called Do It on a Dime. So you can go and look at that. Again, the author herself, she has a little video on YouTube. As YouTube likes to do ads. 
So this is the author herself discussing about death cleaning. So the people below took a moment out of their lives to give me a moment. James Beck of GiveBeck.com from my college timeline has written a book dealing with parts of his past life. and his concepts moving from suicide onward. Now, the thing we need to realize is that children need to know the truth. They need to be warned not to wait up for ice cream. So, you know, people say they're going out to get cigarettes. I'll take you out for ice cream. They need to be told the truth. Don't keep them waiting. Don't keep them hanging on. If the person did kill themselves, that needs to be discussed. Children need to move on in their lives as well. So in one of his journeys, you will see on his site, again, his site is giveback.com. He had taken a trip around the country and he was able to assist some children in going fishing. Now, how he got to that point is a funny story. I highly recommend you watch his TED Talk and it'll show you how he gets to that point. <coughs> Excuse me. We had a good Zoom chat, which he has recorded. And I will show you minute three here. My older brother, so I wanted there to be some yeah. work into it before I asked him. So it wasn't like he was doing me a favor. I could have picked anyone for California, but I wanted to pick him when I could have picked anyone. Uh -huh. uh, and he told me a story a long time ago. He helped uh, at risk youth to uh, process trauma that they experienced as a child, um, people that experienced sexual abuse. And I, I bit my tongue, so I'm going to talk a little funny. You're fine. Um, no worries. <laughs> um, anyway, so he helps his kids uh, process this trauma through theater. Okay. Okay. And I asked him why he did it, what made him donate so much time, you know, week after week, a day of his week, week after yeah. week after week, and help his kids. And he said, someone needs to warn them. Oh. And I was like, warn them of what? Of the demons. He's like, what are you talking about? Because the demons of waiting up for ice cream. And I was like, wait, what do you mean? He was James, when I was eight years old, my father told me that he was going to take me out for ice cream. And he went and committed suicide. Oh. And there's demons when you wait for them to bring the ice cream home. And kids need to be born. Yeah. When their parent takes their life, not to wait for ice cream. So, Melissa Karkowski, the person from Ohio. Yes. Um, do you remember Heidi Tuttle? She was in, she was a senior when we were freshmen. At least when I was a freshman. 
All right, so like I said, that was in minute three, and then we moved on from there. He was talking about Melissa, and he was able to take her children fishing. Her husband was a veteran who returned from overseas, and he saw things that were difficult to see, and he dealt with things that are difficult to deal with. And so, I highly recommend that you, again, take a quick moment, watch his YouTube talk. You can find him here on giveback.com, or just look him up on YouTube. There's some great stuff. He's also got a book out regarding his childhood story. He is also into balancing the body and mind. So there's that on YouTube as well. So you see that on his videos. Learn about Beck Balance. And where they deal with conversations. He was on the 2011 Christmas Day Yeah, so I highly recommend you check that out. It's really interesting. Now, I was fortunate enough, Melissa gave me a moment of her time in regards to discussing what happened to her husband, Mike. And you can read that here.
So Melissa took it upon herself and for her family's healing, which I condone and congratulate her immensely because as she said, it was it was a rough, difficult time. And healing happens. Healing takes time. As I read through this now, it still flips me a little bit because I know what it's like to a degree to have a soldier come back and not be the same when they left. And some previous life experiences I've had. So... Again, I want to congratulate Melissa. She's taken big strides to help her family. She took big strides for herself. And her message is in regards to the PTSD that is caused by being stuck overseas in these as many of you know, never-ending, pointless situations. So I still think of Melissa and pray for her and her family. Pray for veterans and their families. Pray for the ones over there now dealing with what they've had to deal with. Some of it's been horrendous. And we can't understand what that does to a human being. So again, thank you, Melissa, for taking that time to share with us and helping us to learn and giving us that information about what you went through. <sighs> Deep breaths. All right, the coloring page, again, for children, as you saw in Melissa's note, she had children, not just one or two, but the variety, foster children, former family children, the mix of family that exists. Some of them, she said, have moved past. Some of them are still stuck. It's, it's quite the mix when you're dealing with the loss of. So help your child to grieve and to deal and to work through their emotions. They can color the penguin, create a short story about how the penguin feels. Let them tell you how the penguin feels. They will help them process their emotions this way if they can't talk in first person. So they can easily change the facial expression, the eyes, you know. <clears throat> This is a coloring book I created that you saw in the last video I did. If you want to be a contributing writer, send me an email. October, we're going to talk about music and wellness. November, we're going to discuss pets and kids. December, we're going to do a cookie exchange. I do encourage you to send notes to people, send cards to people, take a moment to write a handwritten card, send it to people. It is important. They need to hear from you. Reach out. Just say hi. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. If you don't want to do it yourself, send it to me. I'm happy to do it. You click here. It'll take you to here. 
you scroll down, you can put a note. Again, we have the nature walks. And the latest thing I have to offer is supper clubs. So that's really cool and limited. And I'll talk about that more so in another video shortly. I know this one's running long. All right. The about page, same as last. La, 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 la. All right. Again, send a card. Highly encourage it. Take a nature walk. Thank you for stopping by. If you wish to contact us, celebrationsoflifemagazine at gmail.com. All right, guys. Thank you again so much for stopping by. This has been a review of September's Celebrations of lifemagazine.com online magazine. Again, that's www.celebrationsoflifemagazine.com, our online magazine for you to enjoy. We look forward to sharing with you October, which will be coming out shortly, as it is the end of September, to see the new magazine. <gasps> Can you guess the color scheme? Thank you again. Take care.